The mother accused of killing her three-year-old son more than 30 years ago was back in a courtroom today. Prosecutors continue making their case against Amy Fleming during day two of a preliminary hearing. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro is here with how her defense attorney is trying to dismantle the evidence and testimony against her. Karen? Christiana, judge will eventually determine whether there's enough evidence to move forward with a trial. Prosecutors are calling witnesses to the stand who were in contact with Fleming and her then boyfriend around the same time the boy went missing. Fleming's defense attorney spent most of his time poking holes in their testimony. Three-year-old Francione Pierre was reported missing in August 1986. His mother, Amy Fleming, and her then-boyfriend, Lee Luster, told police they lost track of him at a North Las Vegas swap meet where Linda Siegel used to work selling admission tickets. And he was showing me how much is it for my son, how much is it for my son, but there was no it's just to do it up. Fleming's defense attorney questioned Siegel about what she told police that day. Do you remember telling the police something different? No. You remember telling the police that Lee said, I need two adult tickets because kids are free, right? No. She testified the couple came back the day after Francione disappeared and she noticed odd behavior. She just asked me if I found her son. And, and I said no. Was she upset? No. Uh, was she crying? No. Was she frantic? No. Detective Robert King was working the case back then and says he became suspicious of Fleming after significant discrepancies in her statements. She eventually admitted to a number of lies. He recalls interviewing Fleming's boyfriend. Mr. Luster said, again, when he was agitated, he says, if I would have killed the little bastard, he said I would have put him somewhere where they're getting ready to pour concrete. Fleming's defense team pointed out Detective King never documented Luster's comment. He has not been arrested for the murder. Francione's body has never been found. Day three of the preliminary hearing is set for April 8th. Prosecutors are calling three more witnesses to the stand. Back to you.